international director with Protocol. It's a division of the company that's been set up in the last 12 months to respond to the growing demand from UK colleges for international activities. I think the growing demand has led from, undoubtedly in my opinion, uh, cuts in UK funding, which has meant that colleges have had to try and chase alternative income streams. And it's taken two main forms, the importing of learners from, international, from overseas countries into the UK, but also the export of UK FE DNA to take our expertise and ship it over, overseas. And I think within that, if colleges have it right at home, got their act together and are doing well at home, then it's a calculated risk which is, is clearly worth taking. Uh, for example, a number of UK colleges and consortiums are currently looking at the College of Excellence programme, which is one of the largest vocational programmes in the world today, aiming to quadruple the numbers of, of vocational qualifications and places in, in the kingdom. And I think whilst there are uh, established uh, risks associated with it, I know that governing bodies and, and principals have thought very carefully about this because the rewards that will come from this, if it's successful, are far greater than any opportunities that exist within the UK at the moment. Yeah, I think that the challenges are, are, are twofold. I think um, importing uh, learners into the UK, I think the, the, the government's stance on visas are making it very, very difficult. I think there's a, a, a national shortage in, in English and, and maths lecturing, um, which is making it difficult for colleges to, to um, establish programmes and, and deliver those programmes uh, within the UK. And I think overseas, it's a, again, it's a case of if we are going to export UK DNA to the, to the countries, we are having to find staff within the UK who are prepared to ship themselves out to a, a foreign climate, foreign culture, um, a, a fresh start. And for some that's very much a challenge, but for others it, it creates difficulties. Especially if you look at within Saudi Arabia, some of the challenges for the female, uh, female-only colleges, where you know they're not allowed to drive, um, they have far fewer rights than the males do. But that said, it does offer them a, a fantastic opportunity to develop something which is brand new and to be at the forefront of developing a whole new education system in a kingdom. Um, so, whilst challenging, it's also very, very exciting.